What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So it has been a little bit since I've done like a sit down fashion video. We were traveling for the last couple months. So I've actually picked up quite a few new things, especially for this spring season. And I thought it would be a perfect time to do the what's new in my closet video. I'm really excited for today's video because spring is probably my favorite season to style outfits because you can wear light jackets, you can still kind of layer and I love to do that with my outfits. So I'm really excited to share with you what I've picked up. There's gonna be a lot of jackets actually because when I think of spring, I think of like wearing a light bomber jacket or a varsity jacket. So have a lot of good stuff to show you guys. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna start with tops. And what I love about these videos is it kind of also covers some trends that I'm also spotting and things that I've wanted to kind of try out in terms of like styling them. So first up, I have been seeing a ton of these kind of like loose knit sweater vibes. I feel like it reminds me of like mermaid like netting or something i actually saw an article about this the other day that that's kind of what the trend is being called and you guys will know what i mean with this sweater so i picked this up from zara while we were away and as you can see it kind of reminds me of like a net or something but it's really cool it's like this beige color i've worn it a lot typically when i'm wearing this i'll just layer it with a little tank top underneath because it's literally see-through and with some baggy cargo pants or something and it looks really cute on you can even wear it kind of like off the shoulder this is also a really good piece to look for when you're thrifting because i feel like you'd definitely be able to find something similar to this so i absolutely love this and i got it in a size large for a more oversized fit. So keeping on that kind of open knit trend, I also got this shrug top. I think that's what they're called, where they just kind of sit on the shoulders. I saw this style top on Pinterest and I've been wanting to style one for a while now. And since this is kind of a trend, I thought it was really cute for spring because you can just kind of layer it over a tank top underneath and it gives you that light layer that you might need in the springtime so i thought this color was really cool too with the blue and kind of the different shades of blue down the sleeve but it's really cute my only thing with this one is it kind of ended up being a little bit bigger than i would have liked this was a small and i got it on amazon but i wish they had it extra small so that's just a little bit of a tip if you are planning to check this one out i would size down if you can but i might be able to shrink it in the wash so that's what i was thinking but overall i just love these little shrug style tops they're really really cute for spring and the perfect like light layering piece okay i was really hoping that i was going to get this pair of sneakers in for this video but they didn't arrive in time and you guys know i always have a sneaker section in these videos but today i actually don't because i'm waiting on these sneakers to come in but i thought i would show you guys just like a photo of them i'm so excited for them to arrive i feel like this style sneaker is really just like taking over this year last year you guys know i was all about my jordans and dunks but this year i'm seeing more of a shift into kind of like the dad sneaker vibe so i actually did a tiktok about this where i showed a bunch of different sneakers that i feel like will be really in style this year but obviously like wear whatever you want i still wear my jordans but it's just like fun to keep up with different trends right now and have fun with playing with new styles i love doing that so still wear whatever you love but i am really noticing a trend shift into these like dad sneakers like asics new balances this chunky dad sneaker is really just taking over all right moving into the pants section of this video one of my favorites so first up i picked up a pair of parachute pants from Boohoo Man. I really love this color. I would say it's like a cloud gray. It's like a really light gray and they're super light, which I love for spring. And they have the little drawstrings at the ankles so you can kind of like adjust them and at the waist. These are a size small. I would even say you're safe to go down in size in these because they're a really wide fit, but I love that parachute look. 
especially in the springtime you could layer it with just a knit tank and even that shrug top i styled it recently like that i have a video going up on instagram with that outfit and for spring i kind of want them in every color just because they're so easy to throw on super light and easy to style and just look very streetwear vibes so definitely happy about these. Next up, I picked up a pair of jeans and please do not mind how wrinkled they are. I just washed them and I didn't have time to iron them before this video, but maybe I can insert a photo of me wearing them when they were ironed. But I love just like the seam detail down the front. I thought they were really cool. Kind of gave like more of a vintagey vibe. And I got them from Boohoo Man as well in a size 28 and they fit perfectly baggy. So really, really love these and I feel like just the white denim gives me more like spring summer vibes so I feel like you can't go wrong with kind of like a white baggy denim for this time of year and just with this detail I felt like it kind of just gave it a little bit of a different look with the seam and I've worn them a ton actually I've posted a few outfits wearing these already so I feel like they're gonna be a staple for me this spring season okay another parachute pant but in a charcoal gray I got these from garage and I really really love these these are in a size small I think I could have even sized up but they're still a really great baggy fit they also have these kind of like tie details all down the leg which I thought was really cool and I love the color of them being a charcoal gray they're so easy to style and more of a neutral pair that can go with pretty much anything I feel like these are gonna look really good with the new new balances that I got because they're gray but yeah really excited about these and just another option for you guys if you're not really looking to order online at Boohoo Man for the parachute pants. If you have a garage nearby, you could definitely just like grab these. These are pretty new, I think, so they should still have them. I should have them linked below as well. All right, last up in the pants category, I did pick up a pair of jeans. These are also from Boohoo Man. I really liked these because I had never seen jeans with this kind of like sweatpant waist with the tie. I love the shoelace detail. I think it's really cool and just something different. They're super wide fit and baggy, but they're so comfortable. I've thrown these on so much, almost in place of wearing a sweatpant because of the waistband. I feel like that's usually where pants get kind of uncomfortable. So these are so comfy and I love these. So very excited about these. And I feel like I'm going to wear them a ton this spring just to like throw on when I'm lazy. So yeah all right moving into the jackets portion of this video this is definitely my favorite part of the video because i was telling you that i did pick up quite a few jackets and i feel like there's just so many cool trends happening right now with jackets and spring is just the perfect time of year to have fun with those so first up i got this black and white varsity jacket from Boohoo Man. I am obsessed with the detailing on this. I feel like it actually looks super high end for the price and just the sleeve detail with like the star and the number on it. And I just love that it's black and white because it's so easy to throw on, but when you wear it, it's still such a statement. I wore this with the seam detail white denim and I absolutely love that outfit and paired it with my diesel bag. So honestly, if you guys are looking for a good jacket this spring, I am obsessed with this one and it just looks so cool. I got a size medium for reference and it's like the perfect oversized fit. I've been noticing a huge trend with moto jackets this year and specifically in like a faux leather material rather than them being like the typical like cotton materials. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite pieces that I've picked up. So keeping on that theme, I also picked up this cropped Oh, leather moto jacket i haven't even worn it so some of the like tags are still on but i loved that it had this blue detail it's probably one of my favorite colors to wear and i didn't have anything like this that was more cropped and fitted so it is really really cool i am literally obsessed with this um it's by the brand lioness but i got it on princess polly i actually have a haul video coming up with them soon so this will be in that video where i'll actually try it on and to talk about all the pieces that I picked up from them, but it's in an extra small. Even as like a dinner outfit, if you're trying to find more street style looks for dinner, 
Just something I'm trying to play with more. I feel like this with like a little skirt and tall boots would be really cute. But also just like a baggy light blue denim would look really, really sick with this. So I am excited to play with this jacket and see what outfits I can come up with. All right, another moto jacket. But this one is a little bit longer. I feel like it's a little hard to see, but it has this like neck detail of this moto style like look. And I love this one. I posted this on TikTok the other day and I got a lot of questions about it. This is a size medium um, and I'm just building kind of my collection of moto jackets for this season because I really, really love them. Another piece that I feel like would look really cool for a date night dinner out with friends i styled it actually with a denim skirt and just a ribbed tank and some boots so kind of the same outfit i was just explaining with the other one but really love this jacket all right one last faux leather leather jacket vibe in this haul but i got this washed out jacket and these washed out distressed kind of 90s style jackets have been taking over right now i have been seeing them all over and i was on a hunt to find one like it while we were in los angeles for the past month and thrifting and i finally found this one that i love it's a little bit more of like a brown color i'm still on the hunt for one that has more of like a gray tone to it but nonetheless i am obsessed with this one Sadly can't link it, but I will have similar jackets linked below for you guys. Overall, maybe it can give you guys some inspo on things to look out for when you're thrifting or just doing some shopping. But these distressed jackets are just so in right now and I love the vibes of it. So yeah, really excited about this find. Okay, last up for the jackets section, I picked up two different puffer vests. And I feel like this is more of like a basic piece but i have been wearing these so much just to layer over like a sweater i feel like these are so perfect for the spring so i got this one on amazon and i love the cropped fit of it and like this big collar it looks really cool on and really affordable price so i'm so happy i got this and i feel like other colors would be really cute they have like bright green and orange and it's just like a cool basic piece to have in your closet. I feel like this is such a staple for me now because I've worn them so much over the past few weeks. And I had originally got this one first, actually, before I got the Amazon one, but I got this one from Zara. This one is a little bit more expensive, so I would just go with the Amazon one if you're deciding between the two because this one was probably double the price. And although it is a little bit more high quality in terms of the materials like they're basically the same thing the only thing i love about this one a little bit more is that it actually has pockets i love when my jackets have pockets the amazon one doesn't so just a little bit of a note but i did get this one from zara in a size large and i love the cream color it really just goes with so many outfits so now i have both whether i want to layer it with black or cream and i literally have been wearing these so much such a spring staple for sure. Okay, moving into the final portion of this video, which is accessories. First up, I picked up this Yankees hat, but it's a little bit more special because I got it on Ame Leon Gilray, and I actually saw a photo of Hailey Bieber wearing an outfit with this, and I love red. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I need that, and I want to recreate this outfit. And I love Yankees hats. I have so many colors of them, but I don't have a red one. And I loved the detail of it with the black Yankees logo. So really happy with this purchase. It's definitely a little bit more of a splurge for a hat, but I'm a big fan of this brand and I don't have anything by them. So I thought it was just a really cool addition to my ball cap collection. Next up, I wanted to mention my new silver hoops. I got these at a flea market in LA when we were there, but any chunky silver hoops, you guys will be able to get the vibe. I have been only wearing silver jewelry lately. I don't know what it is. I just really am like drawn to silver right now. So I needed to grab basically the same pair that I used to wear in the gold, in the silver. So I've been wearing these a ton just as my everyday earrings. I'll have some linked below that are really similar. Keeping with the silver trend, I also picked up these 
like drop earrings. They are actually a dupe by Bottega. They're like this trend that's going around right now and I really love the look of them. These are quite smaller than the Bottega style drop earrings, but I really love them and they just kind of like elevate a look. The only thing about these ones, they are clip-on. I did find an alternative pair on Amazon that aren't clip-on. That's where I got these ones, but they're literally like 10 bucks. I think the clip-on ones were like $5 or something, but I really am just obsessed with this like look with the drop style earring. Keeping up with the silver trends, I mentioned in my trends prediction video that metallic and specifically metallic silver is going to be huge this year and i'm still sticking to that because i've been seeing a ton of it and i saw this bag at zara i needed it because i love a little shoulder bag and i loved the shape of it and the fact that it was metallic silver just kind of brought together everything i'm loving right now so really really love this purchase i got this when we were on our trip as well i love just like the little belt detail too so really cute and happy with this purchase i've worn it a ton as much as it's like very much a statement piece it actually goes with quite a lot because it's still like a neutral color and everything but really love this super cute i actually picked up a few bags from zara i also got this one here i loved the belt and just so you guys know it's not like you have to open up this actual buckle to open it it's just like a flap but I thought the detail of it is really cool. It's literally the same bag as the metallic one, just in this brushed kind of matte leather with the buckle detail. Really love it as well. Such a staple, like goes with everything, but keeping with this kind of Y2K vibe, even 90s vibe with this. And yeah, I really love it. And it goes with the silver details. Cause sometimes I find when if I'm wearing a bag that has gold and then i'm wearing silver or vice versa doesn't really go so i love that it has the silver detailing goes with my silver jewelry last bag i picked up from zara was this little kind of like knit material flat bag it's this beige color and then it came with the strap as well it's like a chain strap so i love when a bag does have a strap because i just don't really want to carry it Having a shoulder bag is fine, but if it was just this, it'd be kind of annoying to carry, so I'm glad it came with the strap, but it's really cute. I've been wearing this bag when I have more of like a beige, warm tone outfit. I didn't really have anything like that. A lot of my bags are black, so it was nice to just have this because I've been wearing it a lot. Whenever I'm wearing cream or brown, it goes really well, and I feel like it's such a cute little spring style bag, so really love this one all right last up is another bottega dupe they have a bag that's so similar to this and i found basically the same one on amazon for obviously way less but i love it because it's so spacious i don't have a lot of bags that are actually large in size where i can fit my camera my wallet especially if i'm going out for like running errands on the weekend or like gonna be out for the whole day i can really fit everything in here so that's really great. It has the adjustable strap. And I just love that it's more of a casual kind of look and great for just like an everyday bag. Obviously the material isn't like super high quality being from Amazon, but it gets you the look. I just love this woven kind of detailing and the fact that it does have a longer strap that can be adjusted. It's just kind of like perfect for yeah, an everyday bag, perfect for spring. So really excited about this find because as much as I love a designer piece, I also love to have fun with finding dupes for things that I feel like I just don't want to maybe invest the full price in on a designer piece. So I was really excited to find this one. All right, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know you guys really like these videos just to see kind of what's new in my closet and maybe give you guys some inspiration on what you guys can look for when you're thrifting or shopping for this spring season. I'm so excited to style all of these. I am planning to do kind of a spring outfits video. I haven't done one of those in a while where I walk through different outfit ideas for the season. So I'll definitely be doing that and I will see you guys for next week's video. Bye guys.